with Radiation Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to leak test and shutter check a model 7063 K-ray nuclear gauge. Uh, these procedures work for also the 7063, 7064, and 7065 K-ray gauge. Prior to leak testing or shutter checking nuclear gauges, I like to wear the proper PP&E. Uh, we wear nitrile gloves. We use that to protect against any potential contamination that may be present. And we also wear dosimetry. Uh, I wear a ring badge. I wear it on the dominant hand with the TLD facing in. And then I wear a whole body dosimeter. Uh, I wear it in between the neck and belt on the outermost layer of clothing. Normally in an industrial setting I'd wear a hard hat, safety glasses, and in stilt-toed boots. Uh, but for demonstration purposes we're going to omit that. Before starting the job we want to get our survey meter out. Uh, prior to using a survey meter, we want to make sure that it is uh, in current calibration. Uh, so you'll look on the survey meter to find the calibration date. This one here was uh, calibrated on 10-16-2019 and is due for calibration on 10-16-2020. Step two is verifying that the battery life is good so that it doesn't die while you're performing the work. The third step is verifying that the survey meter is working properly. The way we do that is we use a cesium-137 check source and we put it near the meter so that we can watch the response. As long as we're getting a, an upscale response, we know that the meter is working properly. So next we will uh, perform the shutter check. Okay? Uh, we take our survey meter and approach the, the gauge. The gauge should be in the on position. Okay, and what we will do is we'll take our survey meter and check the dose rate at the base of the survey meter. Uh, typically this dose rate is going to be less than 5 millirem per hour. Okay, this is with the shutter open. So next we will turn the meter off by rotating the shutter shaft to the off position. And then we will take a, another reading at the base of the gauge and we'll see that it's closer to background. Not necessarily background, but, but closer. And this way we can be assured that that shutter mechanism inside uh, is working properly. So as a point of interest, we just wanted to show you the inside of a, a nuclear gauge. Um, the shutter mechanism, this very simple shutter mechanism, it's just a block. Uh, it's attached uh, by a rod to this handle, and when I turn the handle, it just flips a block over in front of the beam port. Here's the beam port. Okay, uh, The source is located in that beam port about two inches. Okay, And once that shutter is closed, it blocks all the radiation from coming out of there. Okay, next we'll be performing the leak test. Uh, leak tests come in a couple different forms. Uh, there's a smear like this one here. Okay, it just has a little fabric uh, uh, smear on the back. And then there's also a Q-tip variety. Uh, sometimes they need to be moistened, sometimes they don't. Um, in performing leak tests though, there's only certain places where radiation, or I should say contamination, could come out of the gauge and that is typically around the shutter shaft and this is uh, true with all uh, industrial process gauges, all industrial process or nuclear gauges. It's around the shutter shaft, that's the only part where uh, re, uh, contamination come out. So what we do is, uh, you'll notice there's some information that needs to be filled out on this. We'll take our smear, we'll fill out the appropriate information like date, location, the gauge, serial number, technician who took it, okay, and then we will take it uh, and wipe it around the shutter shaft, okay. We will fold it and we will place it into its little bag and seal it and then send it off to get processed. 
So as uh, part of any service that uh, Radiation Solutions provides, we always do an area survey of a gauge. Uh, when we perform an area survey, we uh, take readings from six different locations at one foot away from the gauge, or 30 centimeters. Um, typically, we'll take our tape measure and our survey meter, and if you'll notice, there's a little plus in the center of that survey meter. That's the center of the detector. So we'll put that at the center of the detector, at one foot above the gauge. Let's sit for a little bit, get the highest reading, and mark that down. We have six locations. We have uh, the top of the gauge, the right side of the gauge, the bottom of the gauge, the left side of the gauge, the back of the gauge, and then if we can reach, we'll get it on the back side of the detector. So all this information that we gather from our survey is reported on a report. Uh, the report consists of uh, the make, model, serial number, activity, and location of the gauge, the uh, make, model, serial number of the survey meter, including its calibration dates, when it was calibrated and when it's due for calibration, including the background reading for the area. Uh, we do all the uh, Shutter checks are, are located on this report also, showing a pass-fail, and also a gross contamination check, which is just a, a quick check for contamination. It's, it differs from a leak test. Um, then we uh, record all the data from the different points around the gauge onto this survey so that you can uh, perform whatever calculations you might want uh, showing uh, dose to members of the public or to your occupational workers. Just as a reminder, I wanted to, to let you know that shutter checks are required every six months for nuclear gauges, along with a, an inventory of your, of your nuclear gauge. Leak tests are usually required for fixed gauge every three years or as your license dictates. We'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope it was of some benefit to you. Uh, if you have questions or uh, want more information or need service, feel free to contact me. My information is located below. Um, or check out our website at www.raddisposal.com.